Thanks to this video sponsor, Autodesk. It's that time of year again where the newest version of Maya is being released. Today, Maya 2025 is available for download and contains a ton of exciting new updates. I'll be covering the main modeling updates which includes a brand new modeling tool to help speed up your workflows, so stick around to the end to see the new reveal. Now, let's jump right into it. The first updates are the new bevel updates. Beveling is crucial in our modeling workflow, so any updates are always welcome. As you know, beveling helps take flat looking models and adds extra detail on hard flat corners, so they behave more realistic when it comes to lighting and rendering. Bevel filtering has had a big update, where you can now filter input edges in different ways. You can switch between affecting the entire mesh or only the edges that were originally selected. But what's even better is you can now limit the effect of the bevel to only the hard edges or by specifying the edges with edges by angle. This means you have way more control on how you apply the bevel to the mesh. For example, you can only affect the edges that are displayed as hard edges such as corners of a cubes or caps of a cylinder. This will make sure that it does not affect any of the interior edges within the angle threshold. This is a feature I've been hoping to see so I'm excited to finally see it here. The next bevel update is bevel boolean intersections. Even though live boolean was introduced back in Maya 2023, this new bevel feature can now apply a bevel to a mesh that was created because of the boolean operation. Live boolean has become a core part in my modeling workflow. It has become increasingly stable with each Maya release. I've covered videos in the past on how well it works since it was introduced. In previous Maya releases, live boolean features have been added like duplicate boolean input objects, set defaults for new boolean input objects, and improved interactive performance have all been added. Now with bevel boolean intersections, when you apply a bevel after a live boolean operations, it'll only affect the edges created by the boolean intersection by default. This means you can modify the input measures of the boolean node, and the bevel will procedurally update only affecting the new intersection edges as they're updated. This is incredibly helpful, especially when you're creating complex objects using a bunch of different boolean intersections. With these bevel updates, it also allows the user to model more non-destructively, which is a huge benefit with hard surface modeling. Both of these bevel updates are huge improvements that will directly impact your workflows and save you a ton of time during your modeling pipeline. Another great update has been the retopologize performance improvements. Retopologize has gone through some major updates over the past couple of releases, including adding features like feature preservation during retopologize, retopologize with symmetry, mesh pre-check during retopologize, and keep input mesh after retopologize. Now, in Maya 2025, retopologize's base algorithm reform has been updated resulting in improved performance and stability. While the performance boost may vary depending on the input mesh, processing times are now 30% times faster, which is always a welcomed update. You can see the comparison of me retopologizing this shoe skin in Maya 2023 compared to Maya 2025. 2023 is nearly 40 seconds, while 2025 is 30 seconds using the same settings between Maya versions. This is a big help as this gives you a great starting point to create a fully retopoed asset based off of the scan data. Now, on to the big modeling reveal for this update. Maya 2025 now includes Smart Extrude. After spending a good amount of time with this, this tool is just so fun. Smart Extrude facilitates easier and faster modeling as it is a new tool for extruding faces on a mesh in a flexible and predictable way. For example, the areas that are affected by the interactive tool will be automatically rebuilt and stitched together requiring minimal manual cleanup of the resulting geometry. The Smart Extrude operations include cut through, overlap, handling outward intersections, as well as the elimination of inverted faces on boundaries. This allows modelers to quickly build meshes, iterate on complex forms, and worry less about cleaning up messy, undesirable geometry along the way. Take this piece of geometry here where I just want to cut out this detail based off of this polygon. Without Smart Extrude, I would have to delete the face, then bridge, fill hole, and then make sure the vertices are welded. But with the new Smart Extrude tool, it does all that cleanup for you in one function, which is huge. This will help overall modeling workflows, especially when you're doing rapid prototyping. Combine that with the live Boolean tool and you'll be able to create incredibly detailed models in an incredibly short amount of time. You can see how I use Smart Extrude to do the majority of this modeling for this asset. I created this in less than 20 minutes and it has a ton of detail. It's one of those tools that once you start using it, you wonder how you modeled without it. My favorite part about this tool is that it does such a great job cleaning up that unwanted geometry. 
As you can imagine in any 3D software, cleaning up a model during the modeling process can be a big time sink, but with Smart Extrude, it cleans up the mesh as you go. When you combine Smart Extrude with all the traditional modeling tools like multi-cut, bevel, insert edge loop, the normal extrude, and more recent modeling features like Live Boolean, Maya has really leveled up its modeling over the past few releases. As you can see in this time lapse, I'm taking this next level modeling and applying it to this asset. Then with the final step, I apply the bevel tools using the new bevel updates. You can see firsthand how well this all came together in such a short amount of time. Keep in mind, this is not a production ready asset, but what this allows me to do is create a bunch of iterative designs in a short amount of time. Once I nail the final design, I can then move to create a sub D model for VFX, product renderings, or an optimized game ready asset. Again, this is such a fantastic tool for rapid prototyping and just modeling in general. It is a huge time saver. Finally, as a bonus, be sure to check out LookDevX, which was released in previous versions of Maya. LookDevX for Maya is a new look development tool that lets you create USD shader graphs and author custom materials in Maya. What's really nice about LookDevX compared to the standard Hypershade is that it gives you the ability to work across multiple content creation tools. Imagine setting up models, materials, and lighting and having all that transferred to another content creation tool without having to recreate anything. That is super exciting. I plan to cover more tutorials on this in the future, so be sure to stick around and subscribe for more content. In the meantime, you can check out the Maya Learning channel and the Autodesk Media and Entertainment YouTube channels on videos that cover the Loctev X and USD workflows. All right, those are most of the new modeling features, so be sure to check it out with the latest version of Maya 2025. Now, if you're looking for the new animation updates, be sure to check out fellow YouTuber Robin L. She'll be covering all things animation for Maya 2025, and if you're looking to learn animation, she has a ton of great content to check out, like her animation workflow playlist. So head over there to see what's new with animation in Maya 2025. To see a full list of updates, including animation, rigging, rendering, and more, check out the What's New in Maya 2025 linked in the description below. And finally, be sure to check out my Patreon where you can get access to all my source files, Discord channel, and more. You can also just like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. With that, I'll see you around.